Biden nearly stumbles exiting Air Force One hours exposed efforts team prevent falls, prior to slip, Joe Biden's campaign team said it is putting president in tennis shoes, limiting stair climbs, President Biden nearly took a tumble down the stairs while getting off Air Force once in Michigan on Tuesday, hours after it was exposed that his campaign team was making efforts to prevent the president from taking a spill in public during the election season. The 80-year-old president had just landed in Detroit when he disembarked from the jumbo jet at Detroit Metro Airport, around the eighth step, Biden was seen slipping before quickly correcting his balance and continuing down the steps. Earlier this year, the White House physician diagnosed Biden with significant spinal arthritis. Since then, he has had multiple tripping incidents that have many people questioning his age and whether he is fit to serve as president. To prevent another embarrassing fall, Axios reported Tuesday, Biden's team is making a conscious effort to have him wear tennis shoes and limit stair climbs. He is also undergoing physical therapy with specialist Drew Contreras, who worked with former President Barack Obama. Contreras has recommended several exercises to improve the president's balance, the outlet reported, observers noted when Biden began wearing sneakers in public this summer after his nasty fall at the Air Force Academy in June. He also began boarding Air Force One via shorter stairs to a lower level, another move aimed at preventing falls. A fall in public during the election season could have crippling effects on Biden's campaign as he is already scrutinized heavily for his AGE.IN and Associated Press poll this summer, 77% said Biden is too old to be effective for four more years, with 89% of Republicans taking that position along with 69% of Democrats. Another poll from The Washington Post and ABC News this week found that three out of five Democrats would prefer someone else be the party's 2024 nominee, Fox News Digital's Anders Hagstrom contributed to this report.